Their father was one of Richard Pryor's top writers. Paul Mooney passed away in May, and his twin sons are performing this weekend in Houston in honor of their father's life. We caught up with Dwayne and Daryl Mooney for The Factor. And the Mooney twins are here on The Factor on Center. Glad to see you both. You guys are performing in Houston, headed our way. What can your fans expect from this show? Well, what they can expect, what we're actually doing is a tribute to our father, Paul Mooney, who just recently transitioned, passed away. And we decided to go around the country so we can give his fans closure. And they can, they can we're going to tell stories about our relationship with our father, stories about him. We'll do our own comedy presentation. And it's just a real great celebration of the legacy of our father, Mr. Paul Mooney. And Dwayne, what is it like growing up with such a giant figure in the comedy industry? Well, we didn't really get with him until we were 15. So it was more, it was more even, it was even more amazing because we come from the hood, we come from Oakland, California. So to step into Hollywood, to see all of these black folks, the Glenn Turmans, the Jim Browns, the Pam Greers, the Richard Pryors, they were our father's friends. Robin Williams used to sleep on the couch. David Letterman used to come by all the time. So this, this was like, for us, it was like being in Disneyland. To see a black man who used his mouth verbally to win, to challenge racism, to challenge the status quo with his opinion and his point of view and be hilarious at it. It was amazing. And Daryl, what you, what you hear from other comedians out there is he would say the things that others would not or were afraid to say. Well, that was uh, when you look at the Andrew Dice Clays and the Sam Kinnison's back in the day, and a lot of the comedians in the comedy store at that time that we saw, they were not necessarily radical and gangster. Paul Mooney, who would go on at 11.30 or midnight, the last comedian in the club, because he was so radical that the owner put him on last. <laughs> and the crowd, <laughs> this was so funny, the crowd would start coming in at that time just to see him. So he kind of established that kind of gangster, that kind of real comedy in the modern day in the comedy clubs. And a lot of black and white comedians alike followed suit. And he was a model for them to be real and express themselves. Even the clean comics I hear today, ooh, your father taught me how to be free. And he had a new or a second coming when he got on Dave Chappelle. That introduced him to a whole new audience, right, Dwayne? That introduced him to the regular audience, the universal audience, the audience that liked Dave Chappelle, that white audience, that crossover audience. And they got to bear witness to greatness. And they love for him when you would see 18, 19 year old white kids coming up to him say, oh, I saw you on Dave Chappelle, Negro Thomas, you're hilarious. What do you think, <laughs> can you predict the future? Yes, COVID will be coming. <laughs> but the whole thing is that he was just, um, they just was amazed by his talent. And Daryl, do you think your father got his true credit while he was here? Uh, uh, he got his credit. Uh, did he get Was it worthy of his talent? Yes and no. No. On, on one hand... Oh. In, in, on the Hollywood scene in, I can say no. He did not get the credit because he was not political, politically correct. But as far as the people was concerned, he got his credit. He became the people's comedian, and he got big, big, large credit. And you can see that right now. All of the love is being outpoured toward our father. You can see all the people that loved him who were in Hollywood, and who are outside of Hollywood. So he had a lot of love out there, but yes, he did not get the kind of, uh, what I would say, monetarily credit or, or visibility of constant shows, constant movies, the constant work that a lot of comedians who are polit politically correct get. Mm -hmm. He did not get that kind of credit, but he, if he was to trade which credit he got for, 
he would rather have neighborhood instead of Hollywood. <laughs> and of course, the twin brothers will be appearing at Phil and Derek's this weekend in Houston, Sunday and Monday. And if you want more information, go to that website, www.philanddericks.com. We'll be back after the break.